probably gonna split this into two parts because <laughs> I rambled for way longer than I thought I was gonna. Satisfying my soul. Well, I am satisfying my soul with this fallen tree, which is the same fallen tree that I did my spiritual awakening video on, but we're at the other end of it. So there's the, the broken wall where the tree literally just like smashed into it and took it out. Isn't that so amazing? Look, have a proper look at it. <laughs> Through my legs. <laughs> and so we are here. I thought I would feel the tree, feel nature with my bare feet and do a nice little video. So, hello, welcome to Olivia's Sanctuary. First off, first off, how incredible is this autumnal weather? One, it's way warmer than it usually would be. So it actually feels it feels more like the very end of spring moving into summer. Um, the, the breeze is warm, the leaves, the, the, uh, the colourful greeny, yellowy, orange, red, sometimes even purple leaves are just gracefully falling from the trees. Um, there's still mushrooms about which I've been, I've been identifying and Thing. Oh, hello little bug. This this month is just gorgeous. It's it's the middle of October and it is so warm, so beautiful. Oh, we've got a little dog. Hi! Oh, how beautiful. Do you want to come up here with me? Is that what you want to do? <laughs> how many degrees? It's 17 degrees. It's it's the 17th of October and it's 17 degrees. Wild, crazy. The hat can stay off. My hair, I'm letting it sit in its natural grease at the moment. So if in any of my videos it looks like my hair's like separating with greasiness, good. That's because I'm letting all the natural juices flow. I'm soaking it in almond oil at night. Washing it with natural uh, shampoos and then I'm starting to rinse it with my leftover lavender water from the lavender steam baths that I do every day uh, for my skin. And it's feeling good. It's feeling great, actually. So, 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 so. Um, what I'm actually here to talk about. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. This is so good. Um, I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be doing this chat right now. It's feeling really good. I'm, I'm feeling super extra connected today. Um, have been a lot recently. So, because I'm just rambling, rambling, rambling. <laughs> uh, what I've come here to talk about is actually... Um, perspectives on religion. Um, I am going to need my little uh, notebook to reflect on the notes that I made earlier because it is kind of in reference to um, Eckhart Tolle's book, A New Earth, um, references he makes in that and thoughts that I've had in response to that, um, literally from one snippet but uh, also overall things he says that spark thoughts so um okay hi welcome you, you know i'm olivia because it's olivia's sanctuary and i always see <laughs> um but where am i here 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 there we go so so um i'll pop it up a little bit more is that good is that is that a good angle i've been reading a new earth by eckhart tolle and um on one of the pages that I was reading earlier, I think it was page, between page 68 and 72, um, there is a part where he talks about the teachings of Jesus and other religions. Obviously Christianity is, Christianity is probably, you know, the most easily identifiable religion. And so here I was reading it and I've, I started taking notes as soon as I read this one bit um, because he said, he said, um, well, here we go. He talks about how religious teachings represent signposts or maps left behind by awakened humans to assist you in your spiritual awakening. That is to say in becoming free of identification with form. 
it really made me think about sorry <laughs> it really made me think about um how especially in the west we've like categorized and classified religion to almost be an identity of people like in the way it's, it can separate people so profoundly like like you know you know if you are applying for a, a job and it asks if you're religious and then you put what religion you are or whatever you identify with and i found it kind of weird when i started thinking about it because i was like you know like i've definitely had it where somebody said like oh she's like a churchy type or like oh yeah he's really into god kind of thing i've i've actually heard that and i might have even said it myself in the past and i think it's quite a funny thing because <laughs> honestly right now from from um, my spiritual enlightenment sort of thing and it's it's not Eckhart Tolle mentions how being spiritually awakened is not a what did he say he said it's not a miraculous achievement it is just your natural state so like I don't sit here claiming to have achieved something miraculous um, I just feel compelled to talk about it because I've never been so happy in my life and I've never delved so deeply into um, the spirit and the inner workings of life in such a um, connected way because it's not that I'm um, it's not that I'm trying to educate myself it's that I'm being informed through practice which is the, the most wonderful thing to experience because um i mean through meditation you i i mean almost you feel like a, a center of gravity pulls you down to the earth which is why you feel more grounded right um and i like to analyze what this this state of being is because it is so incredible that you you honestly just feel compelled to want to share it and because you know that everybody has the capabilities the capability to experience it you just think well why not why not talk about it so that people can feel it themselves anyway anyway as i was saying like when you say somebody's like really into god or whatever well i start thinking well i'm really into god you know i'm i'm really into god and it's not so much that um i am into a specific god but um what i've written down here is that i'm into all of what god represents in all religion in all of spirituality um because you cannot simply identify you can't identify god from one religion as the only singular god that there is because I think that God is more of a widespread thing. It's it's more it's more spacious than than one single word with three letters. <laughs> but it also is uh, is felt more than it is spoken, and it's felt more than it is perceived, which is a really interesting thing to get into because. I think all of religion is actually, you know, it, all of life is, is perception. It's you perceive life to be one way or another and what you believe to be true and false is within your own self. But um, Eckhart Tolle actually does say about the only truth that there really is in life is is the, the, the one singular truth of self and self-knowing of oneness which is something you come to realize when you have an enlightening experience um i uh i was talking about how um i, I came a little bit away from religion but the the it, um, initial religion thought led me on to many other thoughts because i then thought about how um how we perceive god to be and i wanted to try and bring out a I wanted to try and put forward a, a, an explanation that might help you identify 
with the universe in a more a more general way so i wrote for that god is the creator and essentially you know we have been created from god if that's how you like to see it um and that i don't see it so much like two hands building a chair for example it's more like a manifestation of imagination which a chair being built is since it first had to be imagined to manifest into the physical world but if you view the universe as a, like a giant brain then we become a manifestation of that and because we came to be through conditions being so perfect not only um, that but it does sort of show us that we are living in a kind of matrix sort of thing which is kind of crazy might do a video on that some other time um, and then I thought were those conditions manifested and orchestrated by the universe to bring us into existence and so that we could live a physical existence balance out with what we perceive to be spiritual which is like the quantum field and all that is <laughs> um, respectively um, that doesn't mean that there should be no obstacles in life the obstacles are what make this life more exciting and closer to the spiritual and um, <laughs> What I'm most analytical about currently is the presence of words because words, although they're important for communication, they are not imperative.